Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of this uh, flea market toy hunting trip. Yeah, one of my typical weekends. Saturday there was one big flea market, Sunday there was one big flea market and uh, we ended up already on Sunday. Uh, in the last video and the last thing that I found that I showed you was a little uh, fakey, the little donkey glow-in-the-dark fakey baby pony Sternwind, that's what they are called and um, so let's continue with uh, you know, the second part of this. Have fun watching! <laughs> Guys, yeah, this is the fun time clock and don't be too excited. I will not buy it. I have the blue version um, This one even comes with a couple of figures not the ones from this clock though uh, She wants 70 euro for it and this is just not a flea market price for me i wouldn't even be paying this online she, it's beautiful it's not discolored it's in very very nice condition um i don't even have that much money with me at flea markets and here's nowhere you can um, like get money there are no um, acs around so it's just not possible for me but i love it and it's nice to see um, but I'm already happy with the blue one that I have. I would have bought it if it's maybe 20 or maybe 25 or something. I just can't afford it. It's it's out of my price range, definitely. I don't even buy a pony for this much money, so... Um. Um, yeah, I cannot show you the fun time clock because I did not buy it. I said it already, it's... This is not a flea market price for me. Um, I get it. It's a very thought after uh, Polly Pocket set. She said it's working great and it came with four figures. Not the correct figures though. So to me, absolutely not worth 70 euro. I wouldn't even pay 70 euro for a Polly Pocket online, not even on um, flea market. Um, so no, I don't have that money with me at flea markets. Um, at the end of the day, when I visited her again, she was already down to 50 euros. She still hasn't uh, hadn't sold it. There were lots of people asking about it, she said, but everyone is like scared away by the price. I can't blame the people, me, me, uh, so I as me as well. Um, I didn't even have 50 euro with me at that point, that time, at that point. So, and there's no ATM around, like the one that's at the next train station there is like, uh, broken since years and the only other way to get money there is like inside the uh, shopping center but the flea market is on Sundays so the shopping center is closed so there's no way to get money around um, so I have no idea if she will bring the, <laughs> the fun time clock again like the next times and then she's maybe down to I have no idea 40 euro or something I might pay that because it's the pink one I would really like to have it but like, uh, that's actually really not a flea market price. I'm sorry. So, <clears throat> but I found something else at the next table. <laughs> this is a doodle bear. I think I have the same one, just in very big. It has some scribbles on it, but you can never resist a doodle bear. They are very cute. And the small one is way better than this big one that I have. I think early 90s is what it is. Cannot read the tag. So cute. Good find. Yay! A cute little doodle bear. Yep. I have already the same one in like a big size, like this size. It's up there on my like plushy like mountain. Um, kind of hidden behind all of the others because it's quite a long time ago that I found it, like two years, I think, in 2020. Um, but the doodle bears or doodle pets, the whole line is called doodle pets, is pretty cute. Uh, you got, uh, with them, you got a like special pen that you could doodle on or like write something on and then you would just throw it in a wash and it would come out clean again because this is a special material and probably also was a special pen that would not really stay on. Um, it's kind of water resistant this it comes in different colors and also in different animals the bears are the most like the ones you find the most they are also little like um, dogs i think i have one dog that has like written all over it with a different type of pen so probably a marker that's like a um, 
bedding or something. You can't get that off, but uh, this one's clean. It had a little bit of stuff on it. Throw it in the wash, came out nice. Just cute, they're from 1995 and were produced by Tyco. They have these button eyes, always have some kind of pattern like, like on their like feet and looks like they're wearing jeans. The whole material looks like denim. Obviously it's not, it comes in different colors. I love this, this is a really, really bold, like light pastel neon pink. That's like one of my favorite colors of all time, so yeah. Finally, a nice Kira uh, face doll. I don't know who she is yet. She has a little bit of paint drop on her eyebrow and she's, I think, wearing, I don't know, whatever. Another Barbie dress, probably. Um, but she is, otherwise she's in good condition. I think she still has her bangs. Yep. And I don't think that her hair is cut. She looks amazing. I wonder what she is. Can't wait to find out. Yay! And uh, she's a good price, she's one euro, so that's good. My Barbie find that day, uh, the wonderful Kira doll. You saw her, I was not exactly sure who she was when I found her at the flea market. She is United Colors of Benetton Kira, or Marina in uh, Europe. She's from 1990, so the United Colors of Benetton uh, dolls uh, from 1990, they were obviously a collaboration of the the fashion company United Colors of Benetton uh, with Barbie. So they spotted outfits that really resembled Benetton at that time and in general. So really bold, striking, like primary colors, strange patterns, um, but also like very modern. So like a lot, lots of like um, leg warmers on top of each other or like, um, like uh, leggings, but with over knees on top of it, stuff like that. So the whole set is not really my type uh, that I would like to put on my shelf and uh, right now I uh, dressed her in a similar outfit That's not her original outfit. This is a Barbie fashion pack called um, bright and breezy fashions from the 80s um, But it resembles her look a little bit at least from the color scheme. She would come with a puffy um, like furry uh, yellow jacket and actually a like in this blue like a top underneath and a red skirt uh, with pleats and like the checkered pattern and like over knees etc. Um, she would have a little bit of uh, curl or at least voluminous hair. I tried to recreate that. She is very cute. And now the first Kira that I have in my collection. I probably will not uh, keep her on this outfit though. It just doesn't like make sense in my collection. Doesn't look that good. Just a little like big curl. I gave her um, the hair is really nice, really soft. That's uh, Kanekalon hair, so you can get it back to super soft, puffy, uh, cotton candy feeling. Um, so I think the original set also came with uh, these type of shoes. I'm not sure if she had um, yellow ones or more like purple ones. Uh, I've seen it differently in pictures. I can actually show you the whole set of the Bennett and Barbies. So here they are. Here you can see Kira in her outfit. She would come with this little side ponytail. And here are all the others, Christy, Teresa, uh, Barbie and Ken. I actually have this Ken outfit, but I mean, I don't even put it on my Ken because it, it's just strange. All together as a set, they look so much of the era, early 90s, great fashions. I just wish the colors wouldn't be as, you know, primary colors, red, blue, yellow. Um, here are some more outfits. I think they also came with uh, separate fashion packs for this Benetton collaboration. There you can see it, United Colors of Benetton. Um, a very, I think, thought after set, but like I just have the doll, so it's nothing too special. I don't even have a single of piece of the, her outfit. Um, outfit she came with at the flea market here uh, is this. <laughs> uh, and I like, at the flea market was like, that's not Barbie or whatever. Immediately when I was home, I started realizing I actually know what it is. <laughs> um, it's from Style Barbie 1995. I even have that Barbie uh, in my collection. She's, she's wearing one of the birthday Barbie dresses, the birthday Barbie dress from 1995. But this um, is part of the, it's, it's a very you know, like budget friendly doll at that time. I can also show you what that one looks like. So there you go, this is her. 
um, sweater, uh, turtleneck sweater underneath, boots and that mini uh, denim dress. So that's that. And then also she came with these shoes that I cannot identify. I have never seen this type of, you know, wedge uh, uh, pumps with a little string, these heels. I'm not familiar with those. My guess is they are a little bit more like 2000s dolls. If you know, tell me, but it never hurts to have a separate pair of Barbie shoes. She's missing her big, big red earrings and also her ring, but she is still an adorable doll. And I was really also looking now for a Kira face um, mold doll. And um, now I actually really want a midge because I don't have any midges, but yeah, here she is. United Colors of Bennett and Kira from 1990. Yeah. Oh, might this be from... Oh, I don't know which one. Curl, curl, curly, curl. This also looks nice. Mm. Also Barbie. Ooh, this one's nice. It reminds me of Teen Talk Barbie. But I'm not sure that could be, but <laughs> Okay this I mean when I well it's very red here, but when I see this kind of fabric it I all immediately see that it's not Barbie, it is Steffi. It's Steffi Love. So, <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. Sie haben sind ja überdacht. Ja. Mm. I had to go down because the, the box collapsed. Um, now I'm at the ground here, as always. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the matching trousers to this. This goes to a Barbie and a Shelly or Kelly set with a buggy. I'm 100% sure I have the matching... Um, a matching... It's, it's like shorts, like jean shorts to it. Oh, more shoes. Oh, I have. <laughs> I exactly have that one. That's from All American Barbie, but I have this vest. <laughs> Don't need it another time. What else is here? Oh, this is from Ken. This is from. I don't know which Ken, but. Good. Wow, this must be from, I don't know, what, Prince something? <laughs> I don't think that there are pairs in there, they're just single shoes. Wait. These are little flats. 
Are they Barbie? Do they fit Barbie? I've never seen them. Like these look very unfamiliar to me, this type of shoe. <laughs> nice, that's also a nice pair. This is some of the clone doll fashion hats. <laughs> <laughs> Little ugly filly in there. Ooh, what is this? Probably, I don't know. Looks very, very vintage, like 60s or something, 70s. Because back then, like Barbie sets always came with these like super tiny accessories for everything. And I have like literally no clue. <laughs> goes to if it even does another shoe um. <laughs> I don't know does this go to Malibu Barfi? <laughs> yeah, I literally don't know it. Maybe it does, but... And it also continued with Barbie clothes. Yes, from this vendor I... whoopsie! I had picked up um, like Barbie stuff, like some dolls, some clothes, some outfits, some accessories before, because I've met her at that flea market and also at my local flea market a couple of times um, a year ago, also a couple of months ago already. Um, and every now and then I have picked up more also of her fashions. Um, now I was at a point that I was like, wow, I can like really identify some of these fashions on the spot that I was not able to uh, identify when I first saw them. There was not a lot left, but um, you can see I have a little pile. I will point the camera more uh, towards this here. So I think this is close enough. So um, this is kind of my favorite. This is the skirt that goes to uh, curly no twirly curl Barbie I always mix it up twirly curl or, cur or curly twirl and um, yeah she's from 1982 so early 80s Barbie sadly not the out like, like the top um, the top actually is the same fabric but like um, also with a little bit of ruffles this the uh, belt has some little rips in it I'm totally fine with it let's see what I can do with this nice quality um, like early 80s Barbie. I can actually show you what, she's look, what she looks like, I think. Yeah, in here. So you can see her here sitting, there's the skirt. Uh, her feature was like she had like a little apparatus that you could like make these little uh, twirly um, like braids in her hair. This one. This also, I have had seen it a couple of times from this vendor <laughs> and I always like let it there because I thought it's not Barbie, it doesn't have a tag. Uh, a lot of Barbie clothes that directly came with dolls don't have tags and there were also other periods in time when Barbie fashions were not tagged, actually more in the 70s till yeah, late 70s maybe. Um, but this is from a Barbie uh, directly released. Uh, called the um, um, Fashion Jeans Barbie from 81, so it's even older than this. This had a little uh, like kind of sticker on it that said Barbie in the Barbie font. That's not there anymore. Um, um, but yeah, it's like this fluffy material. Uh, I can also show you what she would look like. So here she is. She's wearing like dark, very, very dark uh, blue jeans and this little puffy, um, you know, t-shirt. Uh, there's also a can in the line, also with a pink top and with blue jeans. So very simple set and uh, yeah, again, early 80s. Fashion jeans Barbie. Um, then let's uh, continue with more like 90s. I said it already, I, I'm thinking about uh, that this could be um, from Teen Talk Barbie. It is. Uh, Teen Talk Barbie was a talking Barbie from 1991. 
so early 90s now we're in the early 90s um she would say she would say phrases like i don't know you're my best friend and uh, math class is tough <laughs> it's the most iconic one because there was a really a debut about like uh, something that people were like oh like complaining you cannot say something like this then little girls will think math math class is not for blonde girls whatever they were kind of right but it's very iconic anyways um this barbie was released in a couple of different versions so obviously different hair colors but then also different outfits they were all resembling kind of the same but in different colors so they were like this in more uh pastel and pinks and this is probably the darkest version with black and red um lots of different pieces of the jacket over it and a little skirt and the little like short um like uh um leggings underneath etc but yeah teen talk barbie 1991 then let's go to 1994 um yeah this is tropical splash no drop yeah tropical splash can i think in europe the set was also called hawaii set hawaii um uh, a beach barbie set uh can um yeah with a little towel oh this is not his towel i think anyways uh, let's go to that later um and i just picked it up like because I recognize it, I probably will not put my can in it, but it's a pretty cool, like pretty cool trunks, beach trunks. Yeah, then let's get to that towel. I was like, oh, maybe that is from like Malibu Barbie. Um, I mean, Malibu Barbie is an early 70s Barbie. So yeah, early 80s stuff in, but not early 70s. Um, then I was like, it's probably from any other, like beach doll, as I said, Ken even had like in this set, had a beach towel in blue, but a darker shade. Um, there were also other sets, like for example the um, uh, Sensational uh, sensational Malibu Barbie set. There, for example, the Hispanic Barbie, the, so the brunette had exactly this kind of towel, so who knows? But then I actually realized that the um, Gymnast Barbie, my Gymnast Barbie, came actually with this. You see this is from my Gymnast Barbie, the back. There it is. <laughs> it's, I think, a teeny tiny bit bigger, but this could also just be due to variety. I don't know. It's just a little bit bigger, so I, my guess is that this is actually just from Gymnast Barbie. It is maybe just shrunken down because it was washed. Um, yeah. Now I have two of them. Not sure if the uh, second, so the Super Gymnast Barbie, also came with a towel. Then I could put this with her. <laughs> Uh, I have not found out. Don't think so. Um, this I immediately recognize. It goes to the Strollin' Fun uh, set with a little a Kelly doll. So Barbie and Kelly Strollin' Fun, the little buggy. I can show you what that set looks like. I don't know if I can fit it in frame now, but um, there it is. So this little waistcoat over a pink and white striped shirt and then with little shorts i have these shorts they actually also have a pink belt now i have the matching um like waistcoat to it denim with little lace trimming very cute and uh, this is not barbie but this is actually from uh, steffi love from the early 90s a doll called a uh, superstar steffi <laughs> kind of a rip of superstar barbie um I'm not a fan of Steffi Love's, most of their outfits and the dolls. Uh, I had a couple when I was little. They don't just, they don't really look good. This is the rest of the outfit. Ah, uh, who thought of this color combination? Like, ugh, this is really garish. This is really tacky. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like just this tutu, nice in rainbow colors, but then a dark purple, shiny with a silver trim and then with like this yellow so, ah, looks <laughs> no this is a no-go for me so whoops um this i really like you can definitely do something with it it has this little um silver paisley kind of pattern with swirls it's a really nice fabric so that one yay you can do something with it um this doll actually you can uh, immediately recognize when you know what the uh, Steffi Love face from the early 90s looks like. She has really, really long curly hair, super curly blonde hair, um, very long. And this goes to that superstar Steffi. Ah, well, yeah, and shoes, ta-da-da. -da. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is actually always good. She had lots of matching shoe uh, pairs and I picked out a couple that I thought would be nice to have. I actually thought I, because I have separate ones of these pink, um, you know, gymnast Barbie shoes. Um, mine are not exactly that color. Mine are a little bit darker, so I still don't have a matching pair now. Eh. I picked up one pair of these lovely pink um, you know, 90s uh, heels. These are actually from Skipper and I know that they belong to Babysitting Skipper 1994. I have that outfit and I got it from the same lady almost a year ago. So I know that these go to that set. Amazing, uh, finally I have them. This then is a beige pair of the same type, so probably also from a Skipper, a Skipper fashion pack. Then there are these um, like uh, purple heels that really have a different type of uh, style. I don't know, I've never seen them from the color. I think they are newer, so they are not older than 80s or 90s heels. Uh, if you know that they are maybe more like 2000s heels, uh, tell me. But yeah, nice to have. These are kind of flat moccasins, not this, this in yellow. So um, I also have never seen this type, but they fit Barbie really well. So I don't know where they actually go to. Um, all of them are marked either with um, like Philippines or China, Hong Kong, stuff like that. So I guess they're probably all real Barbie. They are really good quality. Um, these ones, this style, I actually found out that they go to like much older dolls. So they go to more like vintage, like real <laughs> vintage Barbie from the 70s or even 60s. Um, these flat ballerinas with a pointy uh, toe. So I am not sure. A couple of other toy companies might have just reproduced them, whatever. So like clone, but they actually also say China in it. So I have no idea if you know I think this uh, type of shoe is, is an older Barbie style of shoes. Okay, how about some Mycene dolls? Yeah, I actually hear sometimes that people say they are rare or hard to find or whatever. I come across them quite regularly at flea markets. I mean, it's kind of always the same, <laughs> always the blonde ones, but yeah, I don't know. I never pick them up, uh, but I actually quite like them. They're obviously not from my era, they came after I was a child, so, um, but I think their faces are, are really good. And another big box full of toys. So what have we there? I have no idea what that actually is. I've seen it quite often at flea markets, a little aerial, stick, magic wand, an enchantimal. And there's actually a pony. Yeah, that's a, a styling size Princess Luna. And the reboot pose. But I'm just like, ah, I don't like the G4s and the bigger sizes. So I was, I was thinking about it, honestly, because this Luna, obviously, at least she looks kind of like her counterpart in the uh, show. But I think that was a Moana doll, if I'm not mistaken. And then I was like, oh, what's that? That looks cute. Is it a compact or... <laughs> What might this heart be? And um, it's actually just something from LOL, surprise or LOL OMG filled with little accessories. Um, <laughs> and there's another thing that looks like a compact. What is it? Is it a, you know, poly pocket type of thing? I, I really wanted to know, so I opened it up. Uh, and then this came out. What is this? Like a mold and this had well, the the texture of this thing in there was so like creepy, like wobbly, a little bit like I have no idea. Slime almost. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> There's another thing. They look cute from the outside, but I didn't even want to open that one up. Uh, Pua from Moana and also Hey Hey, so that was the whole Moana set. And another one of these little wings uh, pens, I guess, that I found at the other flea market as well. And there's Luna again. She's not bad, but uh, the size 
Why isn't she a small brushable? So then here I was intrigued uh, by this puffball thing. It has ears and I first thought it's um, the back, but you can just put your hands in it. So in German we say move to that thing, I don't know. Um, a little, little less pet shop, modern one. I mean, modern could also be from 2005 or something. I have no idea, but they are cute. I've stopped collecting them, but I still think they are very, very adorable. There's another one. And actually, there is a small brushable pony, a G4 Applejack. Um, yeah, nothing too spectacular, reboot pony pose. But it's a pony! And it's a small one, so the small brushables, yep, I'm all there for it. So I was hoping there would be more, obviously. There's one pony, maybe there's two ponies. Um, but other than these um, LPS and this little Hello Kitty thing, which look cute, but yeah, I'm not that into Hello Kitty. So there was nothing, unfortunately. And after not picking up this um, bigger styling size um, Luna, uh, Princess Luna, at least I picked up this little Applejack. Yeah, I don't like the bigger size My Little Ponies from G4. Very rarely I pick up one here or there. I decided to not pick up that Luna, but that little Applejack here, little brushable, typical size for G4 ponies, I had to pick up. It's in the reboot, one of the reboot poses, so that tells me it's pretty new. Um, I can remember this type of pony, uh, especially uh, seeing Applejack, on the store uh, shelves in still in 2020, so it must have been one from 2018 or 2019. Um, their quality is really de decreased. Um, the poses are cute though, and I love like the uh, characters from that time, obviously, like uh, all the Friendship is Magic uh, characters in G4. Um, I don't have an Applejack in that pose, so I decided to get it. The hair is just like, there's so little hair and um, the quality is awful. Uh, probably it was not brushed a lot, um, because that's at least why it's still presentable, it's still nice and smooth, but you cannot really do anything with that hair. It's that super, super cheap uh, polypropylene hair that um, if I would not have braided it and put it to the front here, it would just stay up and separate in these tiny single strands and you cannot curl it, you cannot straighten it. I tried everything. It's just awful. It's the cheapest type of hair that you can have. Um, really sad that the quality at Hasbro at that time went down. I mean, they have picked up quality with um, the newer G5 line a little bit for some of the ponies, but not for all of them. But this little Applejack is still really sweet. Um, I think this was just a McDonald's toy. But I don't have any representation of Bo Peep in my Toy Story collection, so I'm actually pretty happy to get this. It wasn't exactly the cheapest, it was like 1 euro 50. I would have preferred it to be 1 euro because I think it's just a McDonald's toy, same as these. But um, actually happy to pick this up. Um, Bo Peep, Toy Story, nice. Something from my Toy Story collection. Yes! I'm a huge uh, Toy Story fan, uh, all of the four movies, and I have a shelf in my um, bedroom that's dedicated to um, Toy Story toys. I really like the ones that really look like the toys that are the same like size, etc. Uh, obviously, this is not the same size as Bo Peep should be. Um, so I don't have any representation of Bo Peep on my shelf yet. Um, so like I really wanted something at least and I have also a couple of smaller things on there So she will go on that really nicely um, And she's actually just from McDonald's uh, Definitely for the very first um, Toy Story movie So the um, one from 1995 So this one was probably then released in 1996 or even directly in 1995 When you push this little button she twirls and I uh, really wanted a representation of Bo Peep on my shelf that uh, is more like her form like before she got a lost toy, like before Toy Story 4. So something that resembles the way she looked like directly on the lamp instead of her, you know, 
free like roaming uh, version where she just wears this uh, like dress as a cape etc um, don't get me wrong I like Toy Story 4 and I love Bo Peep in that movie I <laughs> cosplayed her in that version but on a toy shelf I wanted really one that she looks more like in the first two Toy Story movies uh, sadly she's not very much in those movies and also there was not as much Toy Story merch for the first two movies and uh, they just started releasing more merch from Toy Story 3 on so from, she's not even in that movie and then from the new uh, Toy Story 4 movie there's merch but that's obviously her different outfit so there's not a lot of variety for Bo Peep in this outfit but she's pretty nice her, she doesn't look super super cute but actually pretty cool and Look what I found out. Oh my gosh, do you know what I just found out? Wait, wait. <gasps> Bo Peep, she <laughs> glows in the dark. I would have never expected that. Wow. <laughs> I already found two my scene today, but completely without outfits. These are like, wow, super bling bling. I don't know if that's the line, but I just, no, I don't think that I need my scene in my life. They're just not my era, but they are gorgeous. Wow, this one as well. This is my first dollar. And I love these elaborate shoes. I just can't pick them up. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense for me to pick them up. No. Okay, I didn't film that because it was like a little bit more of an intense <laughs> negotiation because actually a doll was wearing that. That I, um, well, it was the one from. Like she was definitely more on the generation girl face and she had a pretty new body so she was probably late 2000s or something anyways she was wearing that troll barbie uh, outfit and i could <laughs> like negotiate with her to get just the outfit for one euro i mean for me that's better than get the whole doll for 150 with the outfit because i don't need that doll and the doll had cut hair and like really really happy to have this troll barbie outfit because i have the matching troll necklace <laughs> So cool. So to be quite honest, I think I've seen everything. But I will make like one more round just to be sure, just to be sure. Another Barbie outfit. Yes, you saw it in the footage. I did not really film it while picking it up. Um, I communicated with that lady like back and forth because this outfit was on a doll more like in like 2000s doll on a, a face uh, of the uh, generation girl and cut hair and I said it I didn't really want to pick up that doll I don't know what to do with that one um, <laughs> suddenly then uh, the conversation went to that she still had a full bag of Barbie clothes at home so it's like yeah then you could put another like Barbie dress on that doll again and sell her next weekend so she was okay with then selling me the, these two like uh, things for one euro instead of picking up the doll for 150 um, so my hope is because I asked her if she might bring this whole bag of Barbie clothes with her to the flea market next time so let's see if she does if I find her again um, that would be really fun for me um, yeah troll Barbie she's from 1992 or one, well, two, <laughs> 1992, so early 90s, when the whole troll craze was really, really big, you know, trolls, those little guys with this furry hairdo, um, were invented way back in the 60s from a Norwegian company, I think, was it Norwegian? Mm. Um, and every now and then they get a new, like, life, you could say, and then the 90s, early 90s, they were really big, either with girls, but they were also boy toy lines, like the stone protectors that kind of imitated that. Whatever, Barbie had also a collaboration. She had some like hair pieces that looked like troll hair that you could put in her hair. Uh, she came with a little troll, also with a troll necklace for the girl or boy that was playing with it. I have that one. That's why I was so keen on, I want that outfit because I have that troll necklace. I picked that one up actually over a year ago, also at the flea market. When I was, when I was actually not, 
collecting Barbie at that time and I didn't even know that it was from Barbie but it is. I do wear it as a necklace <laughs> but now I have the matching outfit for Barbie. Yeah I love that that little decal here at the at the top with the troll uh, face and then the rest is really colorful. I mean I don't like that it has a black background but what can you do there are all these trolls on it. Trolls like uh, that do skateboard thing or that have wings like butterflies or clown troll and all these funny things <laughs> so that's pretty cool uh, this is also the original like necklace this is a purple one and this was the troll I probably will not put this on my Barbie directly on one of my Barbie in my like display but I definitely plan to do like a troll photo shoot <laughs> Hmm, no. Well, for one of the new poly pockets, and I. Ah, it's too big, it's not really beautiful enough for me. <laughs> it's pretty crowded today, although the weather is actually. I mean, it's okay, but it was supposed to be raining quite a lot, so <laughs> I'm really surprised how many people are selling today and how many people are buying today. It's Really crowded. <laughs> now this is like probably my favorite flea market because it only consists of private vendors. I mean, of course, there are a couple of people that are more like um, <laughs> probably doing this for a living or whatever. They're more professional. It's not just super private stuff, but giant and there's no new goods oh there are some dolls let's go there So these were just pretty new Barbies and then one old Petra. Ooh. pick up this little littlest pet shop um, LPS whatever you want to call it um, vintage Kenner horse yeah it's from the vintage 
a little pet shop line so there's also lots of newer iterations i used to collect also those always pick them up at flea markets you find them very often i still have all of them i have a pretty big collection of them i don't have them on display anymore and i recently had uh, have had a big like find at flea markets with a huge lot of the vintage ones i had a couple of those as a child so they are kind of nostalgic to me though the whole toy line is not like my favorite toy line um they're kind of hidden in my collection if you've seen my uh collection tour video but the horses i would really like to get more of so um because i like horses i always loved horses and ponies etc this one is a cute one it's it's just a horse. The whole set had so many accessories and it also consisted of two horses. Um, it's from the um, 1994 set um, Champion Ponies with Jumping Contest. There was also another horse included um, in a different pose. So the horses from, from the toy line do not always have this pose. I only have horses in this pose. They were also completely different ones. They're all very cute. This one is really has a nice like light color. When you see this like paw print here, this is always um, the shows you that it is LPS, Little Less Pet Shop from Kenner. In German, that line was called Meine Kleine Tierwelt. And um, obviously, the hair is cut. So, I mean, it looks kind of unnatural. Like, this would be a normal horse hair length sometimes if you cut it. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit sad. Still, like, for a euro. Ah, uh, why not? I can put it on that shelf. And it, uh, there's one more horse for me in that collection. Yeah, just a little variety of different things. I bet this will probably be two parts um, because there, I had also quite a lot of flea market footage so it will probably be too long for one video. Uh, you probably have seen that uh, you're watching now, probably the second part of it, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget if you like this kind of video then and you've not subscribed yet then please maybe you want to do that I do lots of content about all these type of vintage toys <sighs> I would like to show you more ponies <laughs> but when they go to flea markets there's not a lot of ponies out there uh, so yeah also like the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if you want to tell me anything I try to keep the comments up for you sometimes my comment sections closing but let's see how it goes with this video um so yeah thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye